an honor to to be cast and to play Ethel Kennedy uh, for sure. What an opportunity, you know, one to play an iconic character from such an uh, unbelievable family. I mean, it really is the U.S.'s royal family. Um, but then to, to work alongside the likes of Katie Holmes and Greg Kinnear and Barry Pepper, um, work with the director John Cassar and um, producer 24 Joel Cerno. I mean, it was a dream job. I read a heck of a lot <laughs> uh, on Ethel and on the Kennedy family. Um, and you know, the research really never stopped. It, it was sort of a continuous thing. So we were constantly bringing new things to the table every day to the director. And John was so phenomenal because he really, he really allowed us to do that. And it was a collaborative effort. And so when at all possible, he tried to incorporate the sort of new information and stuff that we were bringing every day to set. You know, the, it's a tremendous amount of pressure when you play anybody who is, you know, is not a fictional character, is somebody who actually lived and, and it was part of history. But then to add on top that it's a Kennedy, <laughs> um, you know, not as, certainly not as public as, say, Jackie or Jack or Bobby, but definitely a well-known um, Kennedy. And, and like you said, one who is still alive, which is rare. Um, she just turned 82, and uh, you know, who knows if she'll end up seeing the miniseries, but of course it adds a pressure to portraying someone when, when they're an actual person and they may actually end up seeing your portrayal of them. So I just, you know, I did as much research as I possibly could, and then um, you really just have to let all of that sort of go and create a real person. And all of the information that you find out uh, during your research informs how you create that, that character. And so um, I, I hope Ethel would be proud of, of my interpretation. I mean, I, I have mad respect for her as a woman and, and um, you know, a, a political wife and all those things. <laughs> There have been many m interpretations of the, the Kennedys' lives and, and both political and personal over the years because they are such an iconic family. They are the U.S. you know royal family. Um, and uh, I think there was a quote that Jackie said, there will never be another Camelot. And I really don't think there will be, which is why I think we continue to tell this story. But what's unique about our telling of the story, this this version of, of the Kennedy's miniseries is there was just so much research, so much attention to detail, to the point where um, the items that sat on the desk in the Oval Office were completely replicated. Um, and I, I mean, I've never seen uh, more care and effort put into making it historically accurate, which was, which was what was so sort of you know, kind of, it kind of hurt when, when everybody came out in the media and was saying, oh, it's, it's, you know, it trashes the family, it's not historically accurate, that's why the History Channel in the U.S. dropped it, which is, it, it's completely untrue. Um, and uh, it's funny, some of the reviews that have come out, and I read them, and, and I read some of the things they say about, oh, well, that's, that didn't happen, and, and that's historically inaccurate. And, and I, I go back to the books that we all read, and I reference, and I go, well, then the books are wrong. You know, then the history that's written is wrong. So, you know, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's interesting, and it really has been um, an eye-opening experience being involved with this project, because you really have seen such a partisan divide in the U.S. and it really is so apparent that, you know, if you're, if you're a Democrat or if you're a Republican and if you're a Republican and you have anything to do with this miniseries, then you must be trying to trash the Kennedy name and, and it's just not the case. Um, you know, Joel Cerno and, and anybody involved with uh, the film that, that are sort of, you know, outwardly Republican have nothing but respect for the Kennedys. And, and as he said, you know, he was my president too. Um, so it's, it's, been, it's been very educational, um, and if not a little bit scary. <laughs> <laughs>
gotcha! <laughs> Barry, what, who is phenomenal in the miniseries and was phenomenal to work with, uh, he was the one for me. I mean, I worked with him the most, so, um, but he, he, I, he was awe-inspiring because, you know, he, the amount of research he did, I think, was triple of what everybody else did. So um, it, the commitment there was absolutely incredible and, and inspiring. Working with him, at first I was so intimidated because one, he, he, I've seen his work and he's a brilliant actor, but two, he is so intense on set and so committed and um, I just was like, yikes, this, I, what do I do? <laughs> but it, it, you know, it didn't take me long to just sort of get into the groove and, and you know, Ethel was, uh, so committed to Bobby. She was really his rock. And so I sort of looked at it like that and was like, well, I'm gonna be Barry Pepper's rock. I'm gonna be committed to him and what he needs. And, and so that's, you know, that's how I approached it. And, and uh, I think it worked. <laughs> Barry had a prosthetic nose and we both had prosthetic teeth and uh, con colored contacts. And the, the scenes where Barry and, uh, Bobby and Ethel had to kiss were quite funny because, you know, Barry would be like, watch the nose, and our teeth would like click together. Because <laughs> it's so odd having these things, you know, that you're not used to having. Um, but uh, the, the hair, makeup, wardrobe team were, were incredible. And they allowed us to embody these characters. They allowed us to do the best job that we could because their job, they were doing, in doing their jobs, they were so, thorough um, and so such they brought just such talent to it it really you know I, I've always said and and this project really hit hit at home is that this is a collaborative industry this is a collaborative art form and uh, without everybody doing their very very best it, it just wouldn't have um, come together the way it did so uh, I got a you know kudos to to our crew because they were incredible what I hope people can gather from, from watching this miniseries is that here is this iconic family, this amazing um, historic family that, you know, JFK and RFK and the whole family did incredible things for the US and the world, really. But they also are people who have flaws. And, you know, it, if we wanted to portray them as superheroes, we would have, you know, we would have put capes on them. but. It, what I love about this miniseries is that it shows that these people can do great things and also be greatly flawed because we all are. We're all human and, and to err is human. I think this is a true and real depiction of these people as people, not just icons. <laughs>